tuning in to the online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Loving it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How you doing out there in TV land? Thank you for joining us today in the AfterBuzz studios for an exclusive Spotlight On interview. I'm your host, Ryan Malady. Thank you for joining us again. Please like and subscribe on iTunes and YouTube if you like what you see. And if you're like me, you have this guilty pleasure for reality TV. You have at least one reality television show in your guilty pleasure drawer. And with over half the TV shows, it seems, reality-based on television, you would think that there would be an award show in recognition for these shows. It just so happens that there is an award show called the Reality Television Awards, and it just so happens that today we have the creators of the Reality TV Awards here with us inside the studio. Let me introduce you real quick to Kristen Moss, Andrew Ward, and John Barra. <laughs> Ba Barra. Ba 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 you have to do it with the uh, ba Christopher Walker. Ba right. Wow. Ba Three producers <laughs> stepped into a bucket of cream. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Ryan, for having us. My pleasure. So tell us a little bit about yourselves and about your creation. I guess we'll start it off with uh, the lady. With the lady. Ladies sure. first. Oh, how sweet of you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, I'm Kristen Moss. I started off in casting, and I'm currently still a casting director for reality television specifically. Um, and I fell in love with the characters, and I fell in love with finding amazing people for reality TV, and realized that there was no recognition for anybody like myself who's finding these people for reality television, like there are for you know the Oscars and the Grammys, and you know giving nods to the casting directors. But not only that, there's nobody giving nods to anybody else in reality television. So, we decided, hey, let's start it up. And let's figure out a way to give these people some awards. So were you friends with these guys before the show, or did you find them through that, that, uh, that journey of seeking, seeking out this project? Yeah, I mean, it was basically kind of like a seed that, I, that was planted. And until I met Andrew, um, which we met online, like the age-old story goes. Tinder or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're on, kind of on uh, Facebook. I swiped right. Well, I, 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 I moved here. I, I started in production for MasterChef, and I immediately was like, okay, where do we go for reality TV industry people? Where, where do I meet other people in the industry? I want to get to know people. So I immediately posted and was asking, and there's like I think within no a week line. of him being in town, I think he posted looking for. Yeah. And she's like, I mm -hmm. want to start a networking group. And man, we started. man seeking woman for reality <laughs> yeah. <television> awards. <laughs> Platonic only. <laughs> That's cool. So how did how did John come into the picture? So well, that was weird. That was also online. That was <laughs> online as well. Yes. Magic of Facebook. Uh, no, it was funny because yeah, Andrew and I got started. We got our first sponsor on board. We started contacting production companies and getting the ball rolling when it came to getting year one underway for the reality TV awards. And John Barra messaged me on Facebook. I do say Barra correctly because I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. And so am I. And, and it, was also, it was the Jersey connection too. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't just that. I, I, like in retrospect, I don't really remember how I found you, but I think you were talking about uh, doing an award show. Yeah. And my background, before I moved to California, I was in New Jersey for 20 years. I worked for PBS. I did a lot of. Um, educational programs, game shows, and specifically, I was on the Board of Governors for the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences in New York and in Philadelphia. So I was in charge of doing their Emmy Awards. <laughs> so I'm like, well, this is perfect. I have the experience from doing the Emmys. The year before I moved out here, because Governor Christie closed down the network I worked for, so I had to move. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. Okay, you I see, didn't I have see to he's move. Do, I see he's, but I see he's doing really well in the news. Anyway, um, 
So when I got here, I, I just made, uh, I guess, the awards connection, and I said, I want to meet this woman. So we met at the Grove. Within 20 minutes of having coffee, she's we like, knew he was we're doing one. this thing. Yeah. No, but it was odd because I first met Kristen, and then Kristen's like, I want to call my producing partner, Andrew. Can you meet us again? And I think it was like a day or two later. Yeah, like the next day. And it's, and it, it's very funny to tell the story over and over again, but we literally were in the middle of the Grove where the... Um, where the fountain is, and I remember seeing Mario Lopez, and they were taping extra. We were trying to get Mario Lopez's attention. We're like, yes. please so mention the reality TV awards anything. on extra. So I, but I remember the weird part was, is that again, I was new in town. I didn't have a lot of connections. I didn't really have a Rolodex of reality stars of all people in my arsenal. I remember going down to tie my shoe. Andrew and Kristen kind of looked at jo at each other and said, "All right, I think he's good." And Andrew said, as I was coming up, because I remember this in slow motion. Do you want to, would you like to book the talent for the show? And my brain said, no, my mouth said, yeah. And my brain's like, what are you doing? Meanwhile, this was mid-January. Yes. Oh, and yeah. the award show was April mm -hmm. 13th. It was within year? like, it was in like seven or eight weeks of and the time. So the met. first show that yeah. you guys produced was in 2012? 2013. Yeah, 13. 20, 2013 was your, was your first one. And the one coming right. up. In May is going to be the third. Yeah. yeah, correct. Third annual. Third annual. Even though it's happening in the year of 2015, we are identifying and um, awarding those that were in the year of 2014. That's so cool. Yeah. So it is a success. You went from your first, okay, guys. You know, we kind of feel like we have this market that we need to fill, mm -hmm. this, this recognition that needs to happen, because there was a reality TV awards, wasn't there, back in Fox yeah. Reality Network? Yeah, it was a Fox Reality Mid-2000s, yeah. Fox Reality had one, but it was the Fox Reality Channel, which has since gone, and mm -hmm. once the channel's gone, they left it, and we saw the hole, and we jumped in. And the formatting <laughs> of... As, as, <laughs> as wise men do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the, and the formatting of that show was different, you know, I mean, it wasn't... They didn't have all the producers there and everybody, you know, the production company showing up to get these awards. It was, right. what reality stars could we get to show up and then let's give them an award if they do. And how is that different kind of. from, from your show? Well, we really involve the, the public for the vote. The vote that we're doing right now is, is live through April 30th mm -hmm. uh, on our website. And the public can vote and those votes are determining who's going to win this. And we... From the very beginning, we've involved networks and production companies to kind of narrow it down to get to this public vote, and that's kind of what you know the Fox Reality Awards didn't do. Um, and sure. we think it's very important to involve everybody. And, and these public votes, we're probably going to get up to you know a million. So these fans are showing their support and love, which is great. And, and actually, what I loved about the two of them when I was when I was pulled in. I don't mean that in a mafia tactic. I actually enjoy <laughs> one of them a lot because I like to challenge myself. And we we have we kind of have this recurring joke where we sometimes look at each other and we're like, "How are we doing this? How are we getting these people to respond?" It's because we're good at what we're doing. We're very focused on what the goal is, and watching how they, uh, Chris and Andrew, were creating the way you get nominated is very similar to what I'm used to, like on the Emmy side. And it's and it's kind of a legal process where you have. Um, an academy, a board of governors, and you, you put the call out for entries, which is exactly what the Emmys do. Production companies enter, individuals enter, depending upon what the category is. We had no idea first, that we, that's how the Emmys did it. No, and we it was weird. It just like ironically worked, and I said, it, right? no, this right. is going to legitimize it because you're, you're following the same path as, as the experts are doing right now. And sure. we're, we're getting there. We really are, and it's, it's a pretty amazing And our Academy process. members, if you happen to get to know any of them, um, they know a lot more information before the public does, too. Yep. So they're the inside scoop if you want to get to know some info, for yeah, sure. Yeah, basically, from start to finish, from the fall, we send out the submission forms to the production companies and the networks. Okay. They can submit to all of the categories. They mm -hmm. can put the shows. Categories like Reality Queen, Best Competition Show, Unique concept, uh, best overall show, the most heartfelt moment, most creative challenge. I'm just going through these. And by the way, your lineup, the, the shows that you've gotten to respond and actually be a part of the vote for for the awards are just just impressive. And I love most of these shows. I've, I've oh, seen yeah. most of them, and I love them all. You got Hell's Kitchen, Vanderpump Rules. Amazing Race, American Ninja Warrior, Big Brother, and most of these shows we cover here at AfterBuzz too. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so we we love. So it's relevant. People, it's very relevant. It's really, very relevant mm -hmm. to AfterBuzz. I mean, all these shows <laughs> have really big fans too, especially mm -hmm. Big Brother. 
Those oh, fans yeah. are almost a little scary. Sometimes. They're rabid. They still love you. They're but rabid because I think it's because, because it's a cult show that you're. Yeah, you these people are convinced. Big Brother. I, I'm afraid to start if, watching if Big gonna, Brother. If we're gonna if we're gonna go down the row at some point, talk about favorite shows. That's gonna be mine. Yeah. Well, and we <laughs> have it, we have several Big Brother people coming. Yeah, that's right. Too. Right. Yeah. So you do have guests from all these shows. Pretty yeah. much all these all, shows showing up. Every show. Well, that's the goal too. Coming. Is yeah. to try. Is to try. You, uh, from a talent production side, you want to hit. Can I get the big people there who are nominated number one? Number two, are they on relevant shows that are happening now or within the past year? And then those that are more iconic. That's the thing with reality. Once you're in reality, you're going to stay in that realm for a very, very long time. So we still have, and it's no offense to those from the past, we still have reality stars from 2009 and 2010 that, are, that want to go, which is great, but it's, it's kind of in, in no mocking form, it's a, it's a, um, it's a hierarchy level now. Sure. Because those that are going to be there, those going to be front and center are the ones that are nominated. But somebody and like Omarosa of course, came that's last iconic. year. You know, she's, she's been around forever and sure. everybody knows who she is. So we also love to have those people too. And that's kind of what mm -hmm. led us to start, you know, this Hall of Fame this year. Like uh, us, as well as our, you know, our team of people that worked with us decided this is a great opportunity to recognize those people that have everybody knows them forever and ever. And, you know, right. we're going to announce that. You know, later this week. So, Friday, actually. Uh, yeah, Friday, Friday we have uh, the morning. first inductees the first to the Hall of Fame. Yep. Maybe wow. you're maybe you'll be Board. going to live. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Board of Governor approved. No, I know that I was I was real excited to be approached by by you, John, um, to be able to present an award. Um, even though our show, because I was on, uh, are you the one last year, the first season on MTV? The show, our show, isn't on the the roster. Mm -hmm to be nominated, but and yet I was still approached to help uh, present some awards, and I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I was just curious. There's, uh, there's more people who are involved with this, the whole process from, from just being there to presenting awards to accepting awards who might not even be uh, in a show that's, that's in the lineup. But you're, you're speaking to a really important point, and that's, again, thank you for having us here because it's also a, a mouthpiece to talk about how the show runs that we we get approached almost daily at this point of people saying hey it wasn't nominated hey my show wasn't even recognized and the point of the reality television awards it starts with the production company so the and production the companies are all aware every single one of them this is what's happening enter your shows if they, they choose not to they have about a month to, and a half to if they get choose their not to in. that's not that's not our fault we right. don't push we don't threaten we say here's what it is everyone's treated fairly if they enter that's their Position. So if, if you're, they don't, if you're uh, a production yeah. company, you want we your say show you're paying, if you're watching right now, advocate send for your, your productions. Show in. Send it in because yes. that's the only way you're going to get recognized on the reality TV awards. We'll mm -hmm. start here in October about again for the next years. Yep. And some shows were nominated too, but they just the industry kind of you know knocked them out per se because each year there's some some years there's over 300 different reality shows on TV. So mm -hmm. obviously they can't get you know recognized, mm -hmm. um, but. That's why it's fun to have different reality shows that aren't nominated in there too, because there's so many fans of, of all different shows. We like to try to cover all the bases we can. Right. That's great. And so I don't know if we explained. So basically, the production company submit, and then the large ballot, which was about 20 per category, that all goes out to our academy which is We Work in Reality TV. So if right. you do work in the industry, you can go to WeWorkInRealityTV.com and register and then you'll get your ballot next year and you'll be the ones who decide who end up in the public ballot. Like right. the top five, six, seven in each category. That's great. See, so yeah, yeah, I don't see the necessarily the networks being recognized. It's just the shows and the people involved in the production. Um, but the I, I was just curious as to, you say... It is broken down by the network networks. Here, the networks are made know. aware because right. that, oh, that they're there. I'm sorry. Part of again, part of the growing process, and we're in year three, and this is like this is a pivotal year in my opinion. That the more we get the word out, we're all learning together. Mm -hmm. Social media is huge. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to get to fan. Like you have to think of it in, a, in again a tier system. When something is announced, you have to think who am I? Who am I letting know this? Well, it's a reality show, so I'm going to let the person who's nominated know. I'm going to let the production company know. I have to let the network know. I have to let the f uh, then let the fans know. Yeah. Because ultimately, the fans and the American public are voting. Right. So every, sing every single time I'm sending a tweet out, I'm thinking, what nine groups do I have to hit all at once if I can to get the biggest impact? Now so let's, let's, we're doing what let's we can talk to get about it out. that. You, um, yeah. 
Let's talk about the voting process. Mm -hmm. Where? So I'm a fan of reality TV. Where do I go to vote? Right now, um, it's live. It's only live for until April 30th at 11:59 p.m. We so only have that's three more days. Three LA more days. Time. LA um, time. Pacific time. Time, yeah, so, so uh, vote.rtvas.com. RTVAS is also our hashtag, realitytelevisionawards.com, kind of like the CMAs, RTVAs. Mm -hmm. Realitytelevisionawards.com to vote, mm -hmm. and you can vote once a day for the next three days for your favorite show, see them win. And then where can we watch the Reality Television Awards? Because it's not on television yet. Right. Yet. You can actually go to the same website. We will either have a link or embed it directly onto the website. Um, we might air on TV that following weekend, but don't risk it. Tune in live. Um, you're going to see all the unedited stuff, and maybe some of that stuff we'll take out uh, for the weekend. <laughs> Who knows? But you never know. You're gonna see the or make a really great highlight reel of right. all the crazy things that happen. You're going to see the nitty gritty. We're going to be backstage. We're going to be in the green room. This is going to be all unedited and live. So mm -hmm. if um, you want to see reality television the juice, if you're not the there in person. Person version of it. Yes. I'm excited. I'm going to be there. I'm I would, I would bold. Great. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would bold the word reality that night. Oh, it's going to be a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. So tell us the past two times, I mean, what what can we expect from watching the reality TV awards? I mean, I wouldn't imagine it's the kind of gala that you see at, you know, the the Oscars. Oh, or you'll the see skimpy dresses. Like they are not, you know, hiding we anything. We say formal, Everyone... but <laughs> when RuPaul's Drag Race drag queens show up, it's really kind of they True. just do whatever they want. I think there was <laughs> a Ninja Turtles fine. dress on the red carpet year one. Yes. Um, uh, tuxedo with the arms cut off. Yeah. Um, there was one of those. I mean, you really. Michael Yama from uh, Betty White's Off the Rockers had hot dogs like lining his suit jacket and was trying to <laughs> entice people. Of As the red Big carpet. Brother fans would promote, it's expect the unexpected. It really yeah, it is. It literally is. And even the audience, people sitting in there that night, they're not going to see what's happening backstage, but the people at home are going to see all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because not only do you get to, you know, mix and mingle with the cast members that you have been on television with and the producers behind the scenes actually Kristen uh, Doherty told us that she had so much fun last year from Vanderpump Rules because she was able to finally hang out with the production crew that she yeah. sees right. all the time the guy who's you know touching her with audio she's like can I get a drink with him but <laughs> no not until the show's over so there's no at the awards um because <laughs> I mean we're, well these production companies have we uh, will some support for yeah. their staff yeah. <laughs> we will not confirm nor deny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, That's I'm, the legal part. I'm excited. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little I'm a little worried. Don't be scared. Well, it was well, fun too because last we year we hired extra security for the crazy realities that yeah. come. Yes. Um, Corey <laughs> I mean, Wharton who was on Real World last year, mm -hmm. who's actually my trainer. Thank you. But uh, he met Mike Shea last year and they're still buddies. They still hang out from Vanderpump Rules. So he's like not only was it fun and I got to see everybody, but he's meeting people that he's fans of and they're fans of him. And so you'll get to. That's I mean, great. the interaction be between all mm -hmm. these is great. I mean, you know, we have the cast of Hardcore Pawn coming and we have mm -hmm. almost the whole cast of Dance Moms coming. I mean, just those two people alone getting together in one room is they're extremely yeah, different. Yeah, the MasterChef Junior kids are probably I'm looking forward to that. Fans. I'm looking forward to the MasterChef Junior group because there's a lot of them coming because we're covering two seasons two and three they're both well nominated. the parents can be there covering their right. ears too you well I, I, <laughs> talk about drama or reality you're going to have the master chef junior kids you're going to have the dance mom girls then you have the parents of the master chef junior kids and the parents of the dance <laughs> they're all so, trying to one e yeah. one up each other of course yeah so that'll that'll be fun to watch but um we're, we're trying to where we can to try to get full casts to show up but even if a show is represented that's great for us even Deadliest um, Catch, we might yeah. be getting their entire cast, which is very exciting. And, they, and we're, not gonna, we're not going to reveal Special anything. Entrance. Yeah, they're going to. They're Deadliest Catch has a very interesting idea of how to enter. You will know venue. when they know have when arrived there. to the venue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything will yes. stop, for sure. And you guys, because <laughs> it has to. You have a bunch of cast members from all these shows showing up, mm -hmm. and what uh, what's going to happen when you get a couple hundred reality stars in a room together? Find out on May 13th. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep them quiet. We don't quiet. have that music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, one of the biggest complaints was that nobody could hear Matt Eisman, our amazing host with from last year. With a booming speak. Voice. I mean, yes. yeah. He could have been fine without a microphone. He had a microphone, and people could barely still hear him. 
the venue wasn't, you know, the best for, you know, stage presence. But it was because everyone, like, you guys are hanging out and mingling and time. dancing up on the tables. I mean, you can check out our highlight reel from last year at mm -hmm. our website as well, realitytelevisionawards.com, and see what it was like last year. But Definitely it, be doing that. No yeah. matter what, everybody has a whole lot <laughs> of fun. I, ha I have to take a step back for a second because you, not to turn the interview on you, but you started by saying, I'm scared. Now, I want to know, why are you scared? Are yeah, you scared, as, it, are you scared of someone right showing up? You're scared as a presenter? You're scared that you're friends with us? Like, what, what's the... Oh, yeah. I'm scared why don't you answer our question? I'm scared of the Ryan. unknown. <laughs> but who is all it? the unknowns. I mean, uh, like you said, there's going to be this room full of all these different personalities. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. is that there, It takes a certain personality to be on reality television. Absolutely. It's a really yes. A-type, you know, alpha personality. And when you get... <laughs> okay. I mean, I lived in a house with 19 sure. others, mm -hmm. and that was intense, <laughs> yeah, to say the least, right? And I'm so sure. now, that, and this is a room with a few hundred mm -hmm. reality stars who are, you know, the most fiery person. I mean, you have Total Divas, you have Deadliest Kids, oh, yeah. you have Hell's, Hell's Kitchen, you have all these, these personalities, and you get them all in a room with a few drinks, and I'm scared. I don't well, know how else to put it. But you, I mean, you have you have a right to be scared. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't bold the word scared, but it's I mean it's, it's an eye opening it's thing. It's going to be an experience yes. that you never could have anywhere else because we are the only one. But <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's and you're, you you have you the top the executives yes, uh, from but, all these owners of these production companies are coming. Even you know like and believe me, you don't work in reality television unless you have that personality as well mm -hmm. because right. you're not yeah, sitting back. True. You know at your office job in accounting all day. You're making Although the drama that happens. Them. You're creating these challenges. You're creating the brand new shows. That's why we have Unique Concept gives a nod to the development teams. You have uh, Creative Challenge, which gives a nod to the challenge departments. I mean, Guilty there's a reason pleasure. behind all of these. <laughs> Guilty yeah. pleasure. Guilty pleasure. You have to announce it like the that. industry as a whole, right? That yeah. is a you drama, know. you know. Guilty pleasure, I'm sure that will be a fun category to watch. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're going to need to present awards for the most shocking moments of the, the awards. awards. <laughs> That's actually something we could do next well, that, year. The most <laughs> shocking moment at you know, the awards right. last year. Well, it's kind of that same thing because you know the, the director of the Academy Awards can win an Emmy. Because it's aired on television, so therefore the Academy uh, director wins. So when we get like, aired, well, so we can do, yeah, we'll when just we enter aired, something else. We'll, we'll send it into the Emmys. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, can we can we take a look at the award? If I was going to oh. uh, present oh. an award for you the most know, shocking moments, you need moments. to know the weight. That's mm -hmm. true, because it's always. Oh, you know. there it is! Wow, check this out. Oop. That it's heavy. It so. knocked it's your pen right out of your hand. Wow! This what you did with the pen, do not do with the award, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have a few drinks to you know calm the nerves. <laughs> no, this is great. This is and you can really feel the weight. This is not mm -hmm. hollow. Oh yeah. This is no. A, if you've held an Oscar or an Emmy, it's very comparable. This is this is solid silver nambe material, and we had a local LA artist wow. custom make it for us, and um, those are Let's not cheap through. but well deserved for they the are. industry. They are. Yes. That's beautiful. That's and great. There's the, and one will be given out for every award, 21 categories. Mm -hmm. Well, with the Hall of Fame. This year? So 22. Uh, so 22. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's the thing, because we're growing every single year, and we're coming up with ideas, and that's kind of cool that I'm friends with the people I'm producing this with, that we can say, hey, you know it would be a good idea? Maybe we should do this this time. And yeah, every once in a while, the other two will be like, that's a good one. Or they'll look at you like, you're... Crazy. Yeah. We're not doing that. I get a lot or, of crazy looks. Yeah. But I have some yeah. ideas. Too. You have a, so as the producers, you have a lot of that creative freedom to be Absolutely. able to say, you know what, yeah. Yeah, let's throw a red carpet on the ceiling. Yeah. You know, oh, you should hear uh, some yeah. of Andrew's late <laughs> night ideas. Oh my god. Some of Andrew's late night ideas, John and I have had a You don't want to get a text, text from Andrew Ward after yeah. 10. Well, because <laughs> I'm just sitting there and I'm having a beer thinking, oh my god, that'd be I go, John, we need Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, yes, that would be great, but in year three, I don't know if that will happen. Well, let, let, let's be realistic. I'm at home. I get a text. I'm talking with Kristen. Text comes from Andrew. Let's get Jennifer Hudson. And I he turn to Kristen scrolling. without even looking on television. I'm like, he's somewhere at home. She's somewhere on a reality <laughs> show. And that night I watched American Idol. I'm like... Oh, That's why he is. texted us. <laughs> we, we, it's it's funny we all kind of do the same to each other. We have, you have to be constantly creative, and we're yeah. thinking of constantly good things and and you think big and scale back i mean you know if we didn't think big we wouldn't have an award show mm -hmm. like yeah. yeah and this is i mean how many where where is it by the way the venue 
All it's right. Avalon Hollywood, which is right across from Capitol Records. So it's a really beautiful. amazing spot. Upscale, and they just two story venue. It's beautiful. A year ago they renovated. It's gorgeous. It's exactly what we pictured. How many seats yeah. have you sold out for this show? So how like if you were going to imagine how many people are going to be here? There's going to be over, over 700. Over 700, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean every year it's we're that's exactly stories. those reality stories. We're our capacity yeah. every year. So yeah. we will over be once 700. Again. So yeah. are you ready to get on stage in front of seven? Are we scaring people? you more well, or are we trying to live tough? stream and TV? No big deal, right? <laughs> yeah, live stream. Just don't drop that on the way out. Don't yeah. worry, I'm, I'm <laughs> practicing. Never mind, no, no offense. Um, there's a ton of people who want to present, so be no, adamant I'm, about presenting. I, no, I am very excited. People are coming in every minute by the minute. That's why I was late. No, I I'm uh, three phone calls. You, you should know I'm honored. Yeah. I'm very happy to be presenting. Cool. When I say that I'm scared, uh, it's, in, it's in a good way. It's a good. Scare. It's an excited, okay. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, almost you know, just trying to keep my head on a swivel. Uh, but Is there I'm, anyone I'm that really you want John to invite? Is there anyone who who may not be on the roster who you have an eye on? Or what show? Yeah, wait. Let, let, yeah. No, because let's see actually, if we can get one of your favorites. There. Okay, that's cool. But you're actually bringing up a good point too, and you should answer both of these questions because one is who do you want there, but. The cool thing about every year from my point of view, because I'm backstage, I don't get to be in the meet and greet mode that Kristen and Andrew are in because they're with the executives, they're greeting everybody, and I'm backstage trying to figure out how the show is going to flow, which both years has been really successful, thank God. Um, but the thing that I like to watch are other reality stars walking in and going, oh my God, it's Abby Lee Miller, and they're fans of that show, because mm -hmm. it's kind of a surreal moment to remember that even though you're on a show, you're still allowed to be fans of other reality shows. Yeah, so, who, so who who are you kind of like? Gunning who's the dream? For. Who's the dream? I person? mean, total divas. Well, Starstruck. I'm excited personally. I'm excited to see if um, some Shark Tank cast members show up. That's a great show. Uh, I love maybe. that show. Um, I've always been interested in Pawn Stars just because I'm, I'm kind of a geek. I like mm -hmm. to learn about stuff. Um, but overall, I'd like to see more of my MTV, my fellow MTV cast members come out. Those from Are You the One and The Challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just become friends and fans of of these kids and I'd like to see them all come out because I know they know how to party I know they know mm -hmm. how to have fun and we met a lot of them at the nomination party mm -hmm. we know they have yes. <laughs> we, oh, we yes. know they, they like have to have fun, fun. we did oh, unfortunately yeah. my roommate Brittany can't be there mm. Mm. We, 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 she we, asked we, to move the date and I said no so Brittany, so mean. Brittany thank you <laughs> Thank you for the. Uh, but we'll the see at the next one. Request, mm -hmm. yes. But she, but she did a great video. She did a video for us pushing she the vote. Did. Yeah. So if you go, if you go to our um, Twitter page, Reality Awards TV, mm -hmm. you'll see a couple of videos from people. Um, Cody Calafiori from Big Brother sent one in. Uh, we, my favorite name ever in reality, Wee Wee from. Oh yes, Wee Wee. Was, from and Dating she's Naked, naked sent one in. Yeah, she's naked doing the vote. I mean, she's tastefully naked. Check that out. No. But I don't we know. Had, it looks uh, like a nip slip's kind of about to happen at any we had, um, I mean, Brittany, it could have. I didn't we had Brittany do one. We had uh, Joe Morofsky from uh, American Ninja Warrior do one. So, so reality stars that necessarily can't make it, that's the thing I like to do, too. I'm sorry you can't make it, but can you at least do a video to... It's, it's kind of giving their stamp of sure. approval and mm -hmm. excitement that they can't be there, but they still want... No, that's great, and it, it seems yeah. like you've had overwhelming support from the reality community, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. both on the ca both on the cast member side yes. and the production side. And I think that every single year it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, obviously, you got to keep your heads focused on this show that's coming up in two weeks. Um, but can you can you speculate on where this is going to be going into the future? I like mean, how I, much bigger can this get? Well, this well, year we have two. Bigger, yeah, yeah. Yes. we have no. two amazing sponsors who are on with us this year: Mohegan Sun. Um, and also Audio Network. They are both yep. our presenting sponsors, and they're really, you know, helping us out, helping us elevate mm -hmm. the event beyond words this year. Mm -hmm. um, so we'd like to grow that. We'd like to maybe have them more involved or bring on um, another another producing partner, maybe hire a team to help us produce it a little more. Um, you know, the opportunities are endless, and growth is what we want. We're not trying to just hold on to this type because it's. It's growing bigger than the, we can. The sky's grow. the limit. The sky's yep. the limit. Okay. And we want to get it aired. The fans want it, which is proven in our mm -hmm. voting system this year. So You want it on cable. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'd love to have it yeah. on cable. And I mean, yeah. it's great this year that it can be live streamed. And we're going to have you know eight cameras switching back and forth between everything that's happening. So um, you know, going from nothing last year, just tweeting kind of the updates to this like crazy backstage experience that these fans are going to go through for free. Um, online right. is great.
That's great. I, I mean, I think it's something that it's necessary to be in the world with so many reality shows out there. It is. It just makes sense that this exists, and to be on this level so far after three years, congratulations, you guys. Uh, this is phenomenal. I'm super excited to be a part of it. Um, I was going to ask maybe just a couple more quick questions. Like, sure, uh, of can I ask you uh, maybe about who's hosting the show this year? Can I can I tickle? I that fancy? will not say anything. It's going to be revealed on Thursday, the day the vote closes. I'm trying not to be mean about it. Oh, so it's a surprise. I will wait. No, I'm yes. excited. Okay, Thursday, cool. you will know. mean about it. That's all I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> Uh, okay. Next question. They may, or may, <laughs> they may or may not have been on Dancing with the Stars in some capacity last year. But oh, that's we cool. just tune into our social media. They could have just been a spectator in the audience, or they, know. you know, you never know. Maybe a host. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So is there? I mean, we, we've had a great lineup of hosts. I mean, our first year we had mm -hmm. Michelle, uh, Michelle Visage from RuPaul's Drag Race. Last year we had Sweet. Matt Eisman from American Ninja Warrior. Mm -hmm. So, like everything else, we're growing. Mm -hmm. You're yep. growing. Yep. You're right. But I'm not saying anything about host until Thursday. Okay, <laughs> all right. I know. Don't try. Thursday, April 30th. Check out our Twitter. Yep. Because that's where we're going to be making the announcement. And, and then Friday, the Hall Facebook, of Fame. Instagram. Announcement mm -hmm. of who's attending mm -hmm. that we're giving those awards to. And then next Everyone week. Everyone knows this person, people, something. Could be one or two people. I don't know. <laughs> What's in your cup? Okay, he's, like, he's all right. He's not going to slip. And it's not after 9.30. I'm so excited. Is there, is there anything else you guys would like to shout out? Um, you know, is there anything that in particular that you're really excited about? We're also, we're also having performances this year a little mm -hmm. bit more. Yeah. I, I, again, I don't want to necessarily say yet. We do have a really cool idea for how the show's going to open. We have two major um, performers. Yeah. That you so. will definitely know from reality, and we're not, and we're not, we're not doing the reality like there's a twist here. We're, I just don't want to say it yet. It's, yeah, it's sure. still building up. Oh sure. Oh no, yeah. There's plenty to look forward to. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm super excited to be presenting. I can't, I can't stress that enough. This is going to be really fun. Uh, I'm going to be there. Uh, a bunch of close friends of mine are going to be there from MTV, and the lineup is incredible. You guys really need to check this out. RealityTelevisionAwards.com. Um, go there to vote. You have three days left. You can vote every single day. Vote for your favorite shows and see them get recognized. See them get one of these. Yeah. Okay? These and heavy things. They want these. They, they, want, they want them. Watch I the want madness. Them. The <laughs> madness is going to air May 13th on realitytelevisionawards.com. Keep up with them at Reality Awards TV on Twitter. And um, hashtag RTVAs for updates. You guys... Thank you so much for being here. I think we can. I think we can wrap this. I'm excited. I kind of want to just right. go watch a reality binge right now. I just want to start. <laughs> binging I'm sorry, our lives. We really can't because we're trying to produce the awards. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you for having us. I mean, seriously, we. It, it's. It's great to have this medium to get the word out. Well, yeah, we're happy so. that you were we here, and fans. we're excited. We're looking forward to it. Definitely. Thank you, guys. Support. This is uh, John Barra. Andrew Ward, Kristen Moss, and I'm Ryan Malady. Thank you for joining us for this Spotlight on exclusive interview with the creators of the Reality TV Awards. See you May 13th. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.